and they stayed putting pressure on us all night, and that's what made it tough for us. But uh, like I said, ultimately, these guys right here just uh, just grinded it out, and made it tough, uh, and just you know made the plays they needed to play down the stretch to get us back in the game. Uh, that's amazing, guys. What y'all think about that? First state championship in Walker. How y'all feel about that? <laughs> good. That's it. Just good. <laughs> and I think it's. I think it's still a little surreal for us right now. But uh, but it's amazing. I mean, you saw the, the atmosphere afterwards, and you know our fans, our community showed up in force tonight. I mean, you know the student section was packed over there. Our side of the bleachers was packed, and you know it's just an amazing feeling to, to win that game. You know, and, and to bring that state championship first in school history. So. You know, there, there, there's no way to put that into word and describe the feeling that gives you, especially for me being an alumni, uh, coming in front before these guys, you know, as an alumni. But like I said, all the credit goes to them because they just worked hard and, and never gave up and, and just made the plays late. Coach, you talk, I heard you brought you in, talked about it being bittersweet. I think some of the reality set in. They won't wear that jersey anymore. Talk about what they've meant to the program. Right. Uh, well, Jalen right here, Jalen Cook, our sophomore, his, his older brother was a senior. And, uh, you know, and his words were, I'm not going to play with my brother anymore. Uh, you know, and I said, you know, I said, yeah, it's a bittersweet moment. But right now we're going to enjoy the sweet. And, uh, you know, we'll have time to, to get together in the locker room and on the bus ride home. And we can reminisce and we can, uh, you know, we can we can talk about the, the, the bitter later. But right now it's real sweet. But uh, I know I'm going to miss these guys. Uh, my core group of seniors, uh, they, they've really been the varsity program for at least three years. And, you know, they really played a lot of varsity men their freshman year. Uh, you know, those guys as sophomores, they had one senior and one junior on that team. And then last year as juniors, they had one senior on that team. So this group of guys has been my team for a long time. And uh, it, it's just going to be real different uh, come, come Monday morning when we show up at school. <laughs> and these guys aren't part of the – on the team to play. Now, they're always part of the team. They're always part of the Wildcat family. Uh, but, you know, not being able – knowing that they're not going to be there in the spring and summer when we start playing summer ball. But like I said, right now we're going to enjoy this championship. Coach, have you ever seen a sequence like that with the, the ability to pressure the ball and not let them cross half court when you all were getting all those steals? What was that like? Uh, I was a little in, in disbelief a little bit. Uh, you know, just, just the fact you know, it's almost that we went into a, not desperation, but we knew we had to do something. We had to do something in a hurry. And for us to, to really just get that many steals and that many turnovers in that short a period of time, I mean, I don't even know. Uh, I think we were down eight with a minute 20, and, and with a minute one left, we're down by two. So, I mean, you know, it's a two-point game with just a minute left. So, uh, amazing. Like I told these guys doing that last time out with about a minute 20, I said, guys, y'all know we can score in a hurry. Now, I didn't realize we were going to score that much in a hurry. But uh, I said, y'all know we can get turnovers and score in a hurry. So, this game's far from over. And they they responded. I mean, that's all there was to it. They just responded. My question is all through the playoffs. Um, just talk about how in the first half, or the first three quarters, really, um, how they big was giving y'all problems at the room. But it seemed like in the fourth quarter, y'all figured it out. You started hitting floors and just drawing contact, drawing fouls. Just talk about how y'all made a different approach and getting to the rim against the bigs. We started looking at the help more, you know, addition it, you know, because, like, we've been getting to the rim all year and all that, but now we're playing a championship. We've got longer, longer bigs. We, we haven't played against those bigs all season, so, you know, we have to adjust to it and, you know, and make shots. We had to start looking for the dunk downs and kicking the ball out to get, create uh, more space for the guards to make to make moves and get to the goal. Because the big man was stepping up and helping every time they drive to their goal. We basically uh, we had to we had to spread our offense out and um, create more space for our guards to um, drive and kick kick the ball to us. And they they gave them more space in the middle to hit photos and draw contact <laughs> with the bigs. Yeah. Uh, Jalen Perkins. Jalen Perkins. Tell us a little bit about uh, you and the other seniors and what you think your legacy is. Uh, welcome. Our legacy. The, the championship. <laughs> you know, it's, it's our first time. Our first time doing this. And. It, it kind of don't even feel real right now, to be honest with you. I really don't know what, what to say about it. Uh, hey, Perkins, uh, Coach said that he was in disbelief. How much did he have to convince you guys that you could do that at that timeout with 120 left? I mean, we, we knew we could do it. You know, we had a couple lapses on defense, 
but we had to pick it up. We had to pick it up and put more pressure on the ball than we were doing. Coach, just, just talk about, you know, you had a freshman that was an MVP of the state championship. He had a sophomore who made some big shots. Just talk about how they grew up, um, not just in this game, but just throughout the season and made this team so one of the best teams in the state. Oh, I mean, uh, these guys have, have, have shown maturity uh, tremendously throughout the season. I mean, Brian came in as a freshman, and he, you know, he learned a lot through the summer, but you could tell early in the season he was still making some freshman mistakes, uh, doing some things as a young player, uh, adjusting to the speed of the game. But I tell you what, it didn't take him long. And the kid's a phenomenal athlete, and he's got a bright future in front of him. And uh, like I said, for him to come out and be the MVP, as a matter of fact, you know, I took him out there early in the fourth quarter because I think I thought he was just a little slightly rattled. But I'll tell you one thing about that kid there, you could never tell if he's rattled because he doesn't show it a whole lot. And then when I put him back in the game, <laughs> he was ready to go. There was no doubt about that. He made play after play after play, stepped to that free throw line, and he knocked down some big-time free throws for us. I mean, as a freshman, that's, that's impressive. So, uh, you know, I look forward to him doing that the next three years for us as well. And, you know, of course, Jalen Cook, uh, you know, as soon as he came on campus, he's just really been a player that works, works hard. He, he, day in and day out, he don't stop. He's in the gym. He's getting shots. You know, he, he's, he's going up there at night after everybody's left with his dad, uh, getting more shots up. And, you know, he's been our leading scorer for the past two years. And, you know, he's just a phenomenal player. And he can make phenomenal plays. And, you know, again, I look forward to having him, you know, for two more years. I mean, it's just an honor to be able to, to coach these guys. I and mean, it's a privilege to coach these guys, such a talented group of young men. And, and did you think with Dave Biggs, you know, Jalen Perkins, a lot of people didn't know about Jalen Perkins coming into the season. But I think he put everybody on notice. Just talking about how you thought he was going to match up against Big Biggs. Uh, well, I knew it would be tough for him because they're big and long just like he is. But there, there's no doubt Jalen can handle that because, uh, you know, I, I feel like Jalen's skill set is, is is advanced for for, his, for a guy like him. He's a 6'6 guy that can handle the ball, that can shoot the ball. You know, he's got good footwork in the post, and he, uh, he's a dynamic athlete. Uh, you know, so, yeah, I mean, yeah, there may not have been, you know, too many people that knew who Jalen Perkins was, but there's a lot of people who knew Jalen Perkins is now because he's such a good player, and he's going to go somewhere and, and make somebody a better team. Uh, he's going to have his choice here shortly to, to make that decision. So, uh, you know, like I said, we couldn't have done any of this without any of these guys. I was wondering you as a freshman playing so well. It was great. It felt, it felt good. I just wanted to get my team to win. I kept telling them to keep – we're not out the game yet. Keep coming. Yes, were you were you nervous at all going up for the free throws? I mean, you look you look pretty comfortable. Well, I'd have been in that situation a couple times, so I wasn't as nervous as some people would be. Jalen Cook, uh, just talk about the, the point guard matchup with the Lions. I mean, last year he he won a state championship. He was the MVP of the state championship game. Um, he's a good on ball defender. But just talk about that matchup and, and, and how you stuck, stuck how you stuck up to the challenge tonight. You know, I knew I knew he played aggressive, aggressive defense. You know, but I had to take, I had to, you know, use my skill set to go like go by him sometimes. You know, or defend him. You know, because I knew he could shoot and and he could drive. So I mean, you know, you gotta stay thinking all the time. You never know what he's gonna do. You know, he he's a good player. Good player. Yeah. Coach, was there anything that you saw? It seemed like you made a huge adjustment from the ball. Uh, well, you know, it, it might really just kind of happen. The guys, I mean, again, that's a credit to our team and these players. They understand, uh, they understand matchups. Uh, they understand who's got the hot hand, and you know, we and, and basically when it came down to it late, the, you know, the best thing we could do, we knew we had to attack the rim to uh, either get to the rim or get to the free throw line. So uh, we knew uh, Brian had a matchup that he could take advantage of. He has a skill set that he can put the ball on the floor. He has good footwork. He can make a move and he can get to the basket. And uh, you know, I don't think the guys or myself felt like their their big guy could keep him from getting to the rim. And uh, and, and you know, and he couldn't. And, and Brian, that's, that's a testament to Brian and who he is as a player that he can uh, make those moves and make those plays the way he did. So, I mean, just getting the ball in his hands, really, I mean, yeah, we it wasn't so much that I said, hey, let's get the ball to Brian's hands. But as a matter of fact, I said, let's swing it around. Let's start attacking this thing. You know, when we move the ball and move players around, we're going to open up some driving lanes. And, and like I said, our, our guys did a great job of getting it to our playmakers' hands. Any other questions, guys? Coach, players, congratulations. Thank you.